didn't expect to have such big numbers though i, no, I was, blew me away because I, i've never hit a number that high before not even on my best day I've never ever been past eight in my uh you know and i you know ever i hit 12 today i felt like a monster today i really did i think that um a little shot will uh would get me pa too much past my my uh pr but i absolutely blew away my my prs i, I felt like a superhero nothing, i honestly nothing that i've ever done or taken has ever caused a, um, a drastic increase in my uh, performance. I didn't, I've never experienced really something like that where I kind of felt like uh, I was thinking faster than things were happening, but I, but I did. It blew my mind because I could react so much quicker than I normally do that I was getting it. It seemed easy. I, I feel smarter as well. Frank Yosa here, CEO of Ketone Aid. I've also got Steve Zarpas, co-founder, and we've got Gerald Makayao. Did I say that right? Yep, you said it right. If you could introduce yourself. Um, yeah, my name is Gerald Okola Makayao, and I'm a, I'm a wrestler. I'm also an MMA fighter, and uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I'm, uh, my, my next uh, goal for wrestling is the 2020 Olympics. For, uh, for wrestling, I'm also going to try and make the 2020 Olympic team for judo as well, hopefully, if uh, my plans go, go right, and, and also, you know, further my MMA career, and uh, hopefully make it, you know, to the big show. Great, and you're also, you're also ketogenic, right? That's yeah. That's a big component, okay. Yep. So we weren't quite sure, because the ketone ester that we sent you is normally designed for non-ketogenic athletes, so right. you dual fuel, the glucose, and the ketones, but we went ahead and tried to give it a shot, and we had you, uh, we sent you some, and mm -hmm. how much did we send you? Was it 60 grams? 70. 70, okay. A little bit yeah. heavier, so we gave you a little bit more on the 70 side, right. but with no glucose, and we had you do a weightlifting protocol, and, you know, I asked you from one to 10, one being bad, and five being what you expected, and 10 being, you know, better than expected, let's cut to the chase. We haven't heard you talk about your experience, so what was it? I mean, honestly, if it was like how you said 10 is above my expectations, it kind of blew my expectations over what I even would, you know, think of it being. I didn't expect to. Today was a, a tough day, you know. I mean, it was uh, emotional for, for me. I, like, uh, you know, they had that, that whole situation in Las Vegas and stuff like that. It was it was a, a little bit of a different day for me. I, uh, you know, I, I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, you know, I have friends that train in Las Vegas, MMA fighters. I also have two of my aunts, my uh, grandfather's sisters, who are also in Las Vegas, you know, so it was a little, um, it was a little bit different, you know, but I still wanted to do the test because, um, you know, some days when I, sometimes when I compete, bad stuff happens and, you know, I, I need to compete through it anyways. Uh, so, yeah, today, you know, I was kind of expecting, I was expecting to hit what I was supposed to and, and um, you know, which is, you know, I, I was expecting to maybe get one or two reps above my normal, um, my, my, my normal personal PR load, because that's what uh, I've been training for. I didn't expect to have such big numbers, though. I, I was only maybe expecting to improve one or two reps on each of my uh, lifts, but I improved a lot more than that, which I was extremely surprised about um, just because of the, you know, the, the situation of the day, not getting much sleep. I got about two hours of sleep last night, which is, you know, a lot really different for me. Wow. Um, you know, I started my training early, earlier than normal. I usually start around nine o'clock. I started it at seven thirty because I was already up and I was ready to go. And I really just wanted to get to the gym. So, so let's go through the numbers. How many different exercises did you do? And let's go through what your, what, what level you were currently at, as in like last week, what your PR was, and then what you actually did today. The exercises that I did were, uh, were bench press and deadlift. And the last time I tested my, uh, my PR for my 225 pound bench press was 22 reps. Uh, coming into today, I was expecting to do 20, 23 or 24, and I ended up doing 30 reps. So I went from, from 22 reps, uh, repetitions of 225 pound bench press to 30. 
wow. which is wow. you know that's that's nearing that's that's nearing i I'd say close to a NFL football players kind of scores coming out of college, going into the NFL at an NFL combine. Um, and I don't really do too much bench pressing workouts because uh, wrestling and, uh, you know, fighting and stuff like that, they require more of a pulling exercise. So I'm not big on training bench press too much. Um, for my first deadlift at 315 pounds, I, I, uh, my normal, my personal best for that, was 13 reps that's what I normally do and I was expecting to stay at 13 reps it's it, uh for death so my normal personal best is 13 and I hit 16 reps today which I you know was not expecting I wasn't really even expecting to hit 13 I thought I was gonna only get 10 because that's just kind of how I felt like yesterday I felt okay I'm probably not gonna hit 13 because you know I just didn't think it would happen and I ended up hitting 16 which was, you know, kind of blew me away because I was, I was, you know, I was just like, I've never hit a number that high before, not even on my best day where I felt, felt most, you know, I don't know, most on, um, you'd say. So I was, I was impressed by that. And after seeing my two first scores for my bench press and my deadlift, you know, I decided to, you know, do more. Um, I decided to up the weights and test test my reps again at higher weights in the same two exercises, bench press and deadlift. Okay. How'd that go? And what were your PRs? Of the For my 315 pound bench press, my uh, PR is eight. I, I, I've, I've gotten eight. I've never, ever been past eight in my, uh, you know, and I've, you know, ever. I hit 12 today, which was, wow. I was, wow. I was real surprised because I, I felt like the 315 was almost like, it was lighter than the 225 because I had already um, the 220. When I did the 225 pound bench press, that was at the very, very beginning of me starting to work out. And as and as the time kind of went by, I started feeling more and more. I felt stronger. Like I, I felt like my like the 225 was a was a um, like a warm up, which which was crazy because once I hit once I went into the 315 pounds. I was like, I already felt so good. I, I, I kind of thought I was going to get eight just because that was already my personal best. Then I ended up hitting 12 and my training partner was just like, <laughs> he just, he was just like kind of, I, I sat up and he, he, he looked at me and I, and I was just like, what? And he's just like, what? Are, like he was, you know, he was in awe because he, you know, he knows I'm strong and he knows, you know, I probably could hit 10, you know, I probably could, that, that seems feasible um, probably to him. And then I went from from a personal best of eight to 12, he was just like, he's just like, dude, what are you like? What are you doing? Like, are you like on something? And I was just like, I was just like, uh, like I'm not on a steroid or anything like that. Like, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I told him, I said, look, I'll, um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you about it after my, my, tr after we finished the whole training session. Oh, right. He didn't even, you didn't even tell him about ketone. No, no, no. I didn't. Well, I didn't want to tell anyone just because I wanted to see if, um, I wanted to see if they could notice the difference in me, especially right. during the wrestling portion of, uh, of it, because, you know, I have a, you know, it's, they know what I'm like wrestling. I don't really change up too much. You know, it's always the same thing, you yeah, know, we'll so if they were to in a second, I'm dying to hear that in a second. Let's go next to the, the last deadlift Then you, you yeah. raised it to so, 475. Uh, yeah. 475 pound deadlift. I, my normal, my normal is, uh, my personal best was seven. And I hit um, nine on that today. So, you know, what your personal best might be a seven, but what did you do last week? Let's give some perspective because not everyone floats around their PR. Right. Yeah. So last week I, um, I, pr I did a lot less than my PRs. I mean, I know for, I can't remember my, I didn't do 315 pound a bench press rep test last week. I didn't do that. And I didn't, I also didn't do a 475 pound deadlift, but I did do a, uh, a 225 pound bench press and a 315 pound deadlift. Um, so last week when I, when I did the same type of workout, I did um, my reps for the bench press were only 18. I only did 18 last week and that's, you know, below my, my personal best, you know, and that's kind of, that's kind of where that's kind of my, like my stomping ground. That's kind of my even that's, that's where I normally stay around. Right. Um, 
you know, I, I, I hardly ever get up to my personal best usually just because I, I kind of do it every, you know, I do it kind of more often than most, most athletes just because this particular workout, I've noticed that it just helps me out a lot. And also in my deadlift, you know, I only got, I only got nine last week, you know, so the jump from last week where I had nine, nine reps for a 315 pound deadlift to 16. I mean, that's, to me, that's just like, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain. I, I walked Did you in. have the same workout partner? Were you working out with the same guy? So he saw you Always. last week. Yep. Always. So Always. it must have really blown him away then. Oh yeah. He thought, you know, he, he noticed, um, I think at first he kind of attributed it to kind of my emotion level. Um, you know, cause for me, I'm a really emotional person where, uh, Whereas when, if I'm um, angry or if I'm like sad and things like that, you know, it affects the way that my performance is. And so when I, when I kind of got there, you know, I, I was a little bit, I was sad. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was a little down and I, I was, I was uh, because of the, everything that's happening today. And um, I think, you know, most people can see that I, I kind of, you can kind of tell when I have a down day or, or an up day. Um, so I think he kind of saw that and then he saw me, excelling and doing better than I normally do which I think at first he he also he attributed it to mostly my emotions and and how much um you know sadness and kind of anger that I was building up and kind of let it out um but once we started putting on heavier weight when we started going up to 315 pounds on the bench and and uh, 475 pounds on the deadlift and he noticed that those numbers go up I think it was just like wait like how yeah. because i mean Something i could be happening right and uh you know usually after the first those first two um the the first set of bench press and the first set of deadlifts i come into if i do when we add more weight and i go up to 315 pounds and 475 pounds i'm you know almost dead you know my especially with the bench press i you know i underperform on that every single time that we test it because i just i do a huge set of 225 pounds we we put we put extra weight on and you know my reps go you know it goes down drastically you know my i would say my average is usually five reps for a 315 pound bench press just because it my my muscles are so fatigued but let's re let's, let's recap this real fast the first one your bench was 225 where last week you did 18 your pr was 22 you had high expectations that you'd get a new PR. You were expecting 24 and you hit yeah. 30. So you went from 18 to 30 reps in the first bench press. And then you did the deadlift. And then you went back to the bench press where you said that normally you're zonked and you were expecting five reps. Your PR yeah. was eight and you hit 12. Yeah. Well, so when I'm um, actually going into it, I was, I expected eight because of the way I felt. I just knew I felt, I felt like a monster today. I really did. Honestly, I hit the bench and I felt like I, I did never, I don't normally feel like that. So I was, I, I expected eight because I've never got past eight before. And I just didn't think that um, a little shot will, uh, would get me pa too much past my, my uh, PR, but I ended up blowing it out, blowing out, blowing it out of the water. So, I mean, it was, it was uh, extremely surprising. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely blew away my, my PRs. I thought today I was going to have just reached my PRs, but taking this, taking it, the shot blew me out of the water. It, it went from me being, you know, just normal to turning into like an absolute monster. I felt so strong today and I felt, I felt different. I, I could tell you, I, I could tell you that I don't know how much words to put it in. I felt like, a superhero. I honestly did. That's how strong I felt today. I, I really felt like I could, uh, you know, I was stronger than normal, much and stronger. You, you've probably tried tons of different supplements, different types of food, and you've tried mm -hmm. everything. Has anything even moved the needle ever for you? No, not, not, not noticeably like this. No. The only things that, you know, I, I, I have taken a, a bunch of different supplements and things like that. Um, you know, I've had, but I've never had a, had a huge jump the only things that really would a trip that would really get me like that is there has to be a i can't really explain it yeah really no nothing's nothing that i've ever done or taken has ever 
caused a, such a big um, a drastic increase in my uh, performance as far as a weightlifting uh, in the weight room is right. concerned. Okay. So let's th do a little bit. Let's jump back a little bit to the taste. Go have a quick little, how did it taste? How did that go? Your expectations mm -hmm. and... Um, and my expectations for the taste were very low. I didn't, I was, you know, I, uh, it supposed you, it tastes like nasty grapefruit. That's what I heard. And, you know, I, I haven't heard too many good things about it. Um, but when I tried it, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be. Um, I did chill it. I didn't chase it. Um, just because I had, I forgot to buy a uh, sparkling water or anything like that, right. but I didn't even really need to wash it down. Like I didn't take a chaser of water or anything like that. It was just, I just took it. Um, and it wasn't bad. It, it honestly wasn't, wasn't too bad. So would you, would you take that on a daily basis if you kept on seeing results based on the taste? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. For so sure. now I, I would not, I, if it, if think something were to give me this much, um, you know, so much improvement i'll eat or drink anything i don't doesn't really matter what the taste would be for me but no, no, it wasn't bad didn't think what we don't know is just because you lifted more weight doesn't mean that you are stronger right so you know right right time will only tell whether that actually equates to a long-term benefit if you take it for several days and stop taking the ester and then compare that to your baseline so now the exciting part you then went into a you know wrestling match and i was worried that it might not last long enough depending on the length of your workout so how did that go um, uh for wrestling it you know i have a I have a certain expectation of of how i do every time i i uh i train my wrestling um you know i know how how i should perform and uh i know how i should feel uh going into the wrestling i felt great i felt um very very in it was i was in tune with uh, it was really good like I, I'm really when it comes to wrestling, I, uh, I'm really uh, methodical and kind of chess-like. I, I like to set set my opponents up with, um, you know, multiple moves and to set up my end game move. Um, and I know you mentioned a little bit of like this thing called time distillation. You were talking about it, and time I didn't bond. really know. Yeah. Right, I didn't really know how that would be. I didn't. I've never experienced really something like that where I kind of felt like a. I was thinking faster than things were happening, but I, but I did, I felt that today, um, you know, throughout all the rounds of wrestling that I had, I, I felt that throughout consistently throughout the whole wrestling, uh, uh, workout. And, uh, one of the things that was different as well is, uh, usually I have a, 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 a move set that I kind of stick to. I have my moves that I'm really good at and I kind of, you know, I stay within, within th that, that range of moves just because I, it's for me it's proven I've done them hundreds of times and that's what I'm good at uh, today I was able to catch my uh, my training partners off guard with different moves uh -huh. which is something I don't do and something I actually ne I don't play around with it either because for me I, I've had success with what I'm good at there's no, there was really no reason there's really not too much reasons to really change up my my style too much that was the key for me um, is I could see sometimes because being that I have a normal skill set and a normal set of moves, my, my training partners know that and they're, you know, they're, they've, they're accustomed for me to do certain things. And I was able to switch up, switch up my attacks just, you know, one notch to the point where I was throwing them off their game completely because they knew what they know what I do. And I would say, even if I was to compete, if I also go to a wrestling tournament tomorrow, and compete against the, the guys I normally compete against. We all know what our styles are like. Everyone has the moves that they're good at, and everyone knows what those moves are. Um, now I can't say it would work tomorrow on that thing. Um, it, I don't. I can't say that it would. I would feel the same tomorrow. But today, I was able to use a, a wider variety of attacks than I normally would use. I would, but I, I use three moves that I don't really normally use too much, just because. I'm stuck. I have my move set that I'm already good at, and I finished the moves. I would call picture perfectly. I I got a very good setup, and I got I had really good finishes on my takedown. So it was that, and that was over the the strength and everything like that. All those those numbers. I mean, even if you were to wash that away with just what I did during when I was in the wrestling session, was it blew my mind because 
first, I, I should have been tired. That, that's number one. I should have been a lot more tired than I was, um, than I actually was. I, I, I felt like I had a really good warm up. is what I felt like um, going into that, res- the, that wrestling. I had, no, I had no muscle tightness, and I still don't have any muscle tightness now. You know, usually when I'm going into my wrestling workout, I have that tightness, especially in my upper body. My legs are a little tight. My, my, my back's a little tight from doing the deadlifts. It takes me a little while to get into my wrestling groove where I'm, where I'm you know, in tuned. But, I mean, I was, I was able to score a takedown within the first, you know, minute and a half of me wrestling, which is, you know, kind of I didn't have to fight for positions as much. I could see um, my attacks clearer. Uh, One of the things that I thought was amazing was um, me being able to set up even more traps than I normally do. Uh, you know, I usually, when I wrestle, I set up like a three move trap where I'll do one move. They'll defend it a certain way and I'll do another move to end up in my third move and, um, actually finish the move. But today I was able to set up, make more steps and more setups. And I was able to use that to my advantage because I had so much, I could react so much quicker than I normally do that I was getting it. It seemed easy. It really did. I, I, you had said before that it was kind of like a game of chess. And right. also, I'd like to explain, uh, the other day someone told me that they took it and what they had was increased word retrieval. So words that they hadn't used in years just suddenly popped into their head. And this sounds exactly like what you're having. It was game plan retrieval. So you had this game plan of something that you might have learned six months ago. You rarely use it, but you were able to just pull that card and execute on it. Right. Yeah, that's I was, exactly um, right. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, I. I've learned a lot of moves over my time in wrestling and I'm actually a wrestling coach from my high school uh, right now too. So I'm, you know, I'm still able to, um, you know, demonstrate and teach to the high schoolers, uh, you know, wrestling moves, you know, so I need to, I need to be up on my technique for almost every wrestling room, beca- uh, wrestling move, because I have to teach these high school wrestlers, you know, a lot of moves. Uh, so, so what did they say? <laughs> they weren't too happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more so because more more so because i was um i went straight in there i had like 30 seconds of of like kind of slow methodical movement and then i went straight into starting to attack and that's not usually what i do just because it's you know i'm already a little fatigued usually from the workout so it takes me a little while before i even decide to try and attack today i was attacking quickly i was um and i was attacking aggressively i was really aggressive on my takedowns because I just could, like I said, I could see, see my takedowns so quickly that I, I knew that I could move more aggressively towards getting a takedown. And did they make any comments? Did they say, you know, what, what's, what's happening to you today? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, they were, you know, kind of, they were surprised that I was, I was being like really aggressive and, and that's, uh, you know, not in a bad way. I wasn't being mean or anything like that, but, uh, I was, I was just aggressive and that's how my wrestling style is. It, you know, it's a start, a slow start. And then it's, it gets aggressive, progressively more aggressive. They didn't get the slow start. They, they pretty much got, you know, they ran straight into the horns of the bull kind of, it it went from zero to a hundred really quick, quickly. And how do you think this would translate into uh, UFC, um, you know, MMA, boxing, and even football? think it would translate great because you know the rounds are very long and you know sometimes guys end up you know within the especially towards the last round they get really tired and I I worked out you know longer than a normal championship UFC fight I which is only um 25 minutes I worked out for two hours today and I and even right now as I'm as I'm talking to you I I still don't have muscle tightness which is very uncharacteristic of the workout that I did. I should, my shoulders should be tight or my back at least should be tight. I don't really feel tight at all. And I haven't eaten anything, which is crazy. I I feel smarter as well. So yeah. So the goal today was just to work on my takedowns and not get taken down. And I did not get taken down. Yeah. I don't know if my opponent would want me to have that drink. I'm going to turn into the Hulk on him. I I mean, it was, you know, it's crazy. So how did you, uh, throughout the workout and the lifting, some people actually don't feel a difference. Some people feel goosebumps. Some people feel energized. Some people don't feel anything, but then they look at their numbers and, you know, they're blowing out their numbers. So where were you in that mix of actually feeling something and when did it start kicking in 
and make you say, you know, what the heck is that? I didn't, I honestly didn't feel it until my, uh, until I finished my bench press, the first bench press set. It was like, I didn't feel too much different when I was warming up or anything like that. I it did feel kind of like, um, not jittery, but I had like more energy. My, I could tell my energy was higher and, um, I didn't have any coffee or anything like that um, this morning, um, but I did feel like you know I was I had more energy. I started fe- I I could feel it in my body. After I finished the bench press and I had that you know that my muscles were like pumping that blood. Once I sat up, I I just yeah it wasn't a tingly feeling as much as it was like I heard what the number was. I knew how much I had lifted. Uh, I, I was, felt I I don't know. I felt really strong. I don't know how to really explain it. Uh, Sounds like you. Know, Sounds like you felt pumped. I, I was I was extremely pumped. Yeah, I was uh yeah, my I got a very good pump. Like it was like when I was taking that bench press, it was just it was just dispersing it even more through my body and I just when I sat up I was just like, Okay, yep, I feel different now, but in a good yeah. way wise. Now Amazing. one thing one thing that I really respect about you that we talked the other day, you said because we have some issues with some elite athletes that they don't want to talk about it because they want this drink as this, you know, secret thing that they can use to beat somebody else. And you were like, you wanted the drink to be at your A game and you wanted your component, you know, opponent to be at their A game and then just take it all to the next level. That was just such an awesome take on it. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I can, re- I can see like, um, you know, a lot of professional athletes, especially they're this there, it is their livelihood. They make money off of um, competing well and doing stuff like that. You know, and I, I enjoy money. I do. I, you know, I, everyone needs money to survive pretty much, you know, if you're going to buy things or whatnot, but I didn't really get into professional sports. Um, I didn't really think I would ever be considered a professional athlete in the first place. Um, like when I was in high school, I never thought that at all. Um, and I, so I didn't really get into professional sports for money really, you know, I mean, it's really nice, but it's, uh, for me, I always wanted to prove myself. I always want, especially when I started getting better in wrestling and I started realizing I was a pretty good wrestler. I, I always wanted to face the best guys that I could. It, it didn't matter if I had an easy, I would choose a hard wrestling match against a hard opponent and a difficult, a very talented, good opponent rather than me walk through a guy who doesn't really know how to wrestle. I'd much rather lose an athlete who's better than I am than beat up someone who isn't, shouldn't be there in there with me. You know, if so, I can have everyone be on a level playing field, then, then that's fine. I mean, if, that's what I want. I want to have, I want to be against the best athletes. All right. So to uh, sum it all up, would you say that this is the real deal? Do you, do you believe the hype? Yeah, I believe it. It's the, you know, I think uh, when I first talked to you, I think I thought you should uh, change the, um, the name of the drink. And I told you that I thought it should be called the super, super soldier um, serum from uh, cap, like, like in Captain America and, I mean, that's essentially what happened. I mean, I, you know, I, I didn't expect it to do as much as it did. I, I did expect it. I, I believed what you were saying. And I, when, as I kind of looked through the research and things like that, you know, I, and, and I knew how I felt from a ketogenic diet already. I kind of felt like my performance was a little bit, um, a little better than what my normal diet dieting was. Um, so I did expect to see um, some improvements and I did expect to uh, have um, be a little better, but I didn't expect to, to turn into, uh, you know, to, to have such a big gap from where my PRs are to where it was now. I know that if I'm, you know, and I know it doesn't translate, like if I do it, you know, three weeks from now, it might not be the same numbers. Um, if I didn't take the shot or whatnot, but I seen, I definitely saw the, uh, performance, the, the enhancement of my performance today, which is amazing.